Uh, Regional Parking Authority representative, I do not see anyone here. Do we have any comments? I have a couple of comments. Um, they have been giving us a report over the last few months. And uh, it, it's good to know what's going on a little bit with the Parking Authority. However, uh, I was a little disturbed with the reports for this past month. Uh, one of the things that we found in their list uh, each month is the Parking Authority continues to remain a, as a self-sustaining entity, um, which is great to hear. Uh, but I have some concerns as far as meeting minutes that we got from the April meeting that I guess were already voted on because I was told that there's signs already put up that they're changing their hours that they're going to be charging people for parking from what was it eight to six nine to six nine to six and now they're moving them from 10 a.m to 8 p.m uh I'm curious number one if our restaurants know about that um and I'm also really concerned that we're always talking about bringing people in. Uh, we didn't even have a public discussion on this, or did anybody know other than getting this report? Was anybody aware of, of, of this? Uh, and the second part is they're promoting their whole system with the, the app or using their, uh, their parking meters, uh, using the app or using credit card payments now instead of it being the dollar and then charging on the app, I think, a minor fee, which I understand that because that, that pays for the service. But now the minimum is $2.50 instead of a dollar. Um, really struggling with that. I understand maybe the concept is um, people don't normally uh, stay there more than an hour. It's more than an hour, so why don't they just pay the two fifty dollars up front? Uh, I'm really struggling with that because what happens if somebody needs to go to Bridgewell Appliance for 15 minutes, $2.50? Um, I'd like to hear some comments in regards to this from the party for you. Maybe invite them to the meeting and explain the, their reasoning behind this so the public knows. Um, I'm actually, and I invite everybody else, uh, I think we should go and listen at the parking authority meeting on, on their reasoning by this uh, before we start getting yelled at about it when we again um, the parking authority is a self-sustaining entity um, that seems a little drastic to me 150 percent on the electronic payments when everybody pays by app or by credit card now um, so i just i needed to make that comment uh, anybody else welcome nick you were talking about it as well, you're welcome to, but uh, yeah, I really think that we need to have a major conversation with the parking for you, at least to be able to say when the residents come and start yelling at us that the parking is too much, especially the businesses, we have to have some responses on why they're doing it. I have a comment. We, we have invited them to attend this meeting every month, and for the last several months, we've been asked to submit any questions that we have to them prior to it. Now, this would have been an important issue to bring up and, and discuss openly, um, because we are the ones who will face the music. And, and, uh, so I agree with Joe, I think we, we definitely need to get face-to-face uh, -face with the, the authority and have some discussion about the impacts that this may have mm -hmm. on our community. I believe that I, I think Joe's absolutely correct um, on this comment. And, and we're going to hear some, some big, big problems from the restaurant and from Bridgeville. A uh, month ago, I talked to uh, the chairman uh, <laughs> of the party authority. I said, I tell you what, that's not right to what you are thinking to do. But we say to that idea, Try something else. Uh, I think we, of course, I'm not a lawyer. Everybody knows that. But we have an attorney over here, which he knows the, the regulation between council and parking authority. <coughs> we should look into that. I know we are responsible for all these things in some way, somewhat. I, I could be wrong. We have the legal department. So you can correct me. Uh, something got to be done. Uh, 
if it's a management problem, uh, I, I don't know what it is, but uh, the payroll is high, it's over $140,000 a year. I mean, I, I don't know. Uh, somebody, you heard that quotation, some is right in uh, that. That's right. <laughs> but the timing of it seems really inconsiderate as well. You know, we're just coming out of a pandemic, not quite there yet. And now we have a threat of a toll bridge on 79 that's going to cost people another $1 to $2 to even come to the community. So I think they should cover this sign. I think they should, yeah. I, I think my concern is stress to all the doors as well. Um, I know businesses are feeling it up as it is. Right. Um, restaurant industry specifically most of these businesses right now are not open Mondays they're not opening until three or four o'clock so now you're telling, telling these businesses that you're going to force an increase in parking that they have to use from the parking authority in their peak hours I'm sorry that's um there needs to be some sort of public forum where the businesses and the community needs to be able to stress their thoughts and as opposed to just what theirs are for keeping their business right. Do we know when their next meeting is, John? Next month. Next month. It's a public meeting. It's going to be in public. Yeah. And we'll be allowing it because sure. I know they've been close to public. So, I don't see how. It's, it's a public meeting. It's a public meeting. It's a public meeting. Well, yeah, we do. I don't remember how. We're we're doing COVID. During COVID, were they meeting in public or I mean in private? Or were they televising their meetings? They, they met here and locked the doors. Yes. Uh, they, 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 uh, huh. they took action here somewhere uh, with this race. Oh, I can say general answer to uh, some of Charlie's question is, is that generally speaking, they are an authority, at, and as long as they exist, you have the power to appoint, etc. When we said that, also subject to the sunshine act. And in order to take lawful action, although they don't have to do resolutions, authorities act with or, or ordinances, they do resolutions, the day of the auto, but they have to be done in public. And there was a sunshine act compliant meeting. And I wasn't referring to this as a Seeing the April minutes, unfortunately, I could not go to the meeting. They're coming. Yeah, yeah. And concerning the parking authority, mm -hmm. uh, my uh, colleague told me a couple of weeks ago that in regards to that uh, yeah, vacant property on the corner of Washington Avenue and James Street that the doctor purchased, that the, I guess they've been unable to negotiate a fair selling price with them, so they wanted to take action. And, Force him to sell the property. That's what you told me a couple weeks ago. Well, that's changed now. Uh, yeah, financially, I don't know if you can handle it. That's the question I sort of have. I mean, what they're doing, I, I don't agree with either, but it's reading the April months that we don't get they've been losing money for the last several months. So I don't know how well, bad off they are, or are they in trouble, or what's going on with like that. I mean, there's another way to do it, I mean, as far as just dropping it on people's heads. I think, I guess we have to go to a meeting to find out. I think so. yeah. We could call a meeting with them as well. Go to their meeting. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's move on from that. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate your comments, Joe.